Good day and welcome to the Sport Rep Show. I am your host, Jesse Jackson Kauraitha, unpacking the latest sports news. In today's show, we will look at some of the fresh stories pertaining to Namibia's AFCON, but as well as local legend Tommy Shaw Nakashimba. I bet many of you would remember the legend. A short man, but he was very dangerous in the ring. Sport Rep has you covered. And now for your latest on the hit list. Momentum is building in Namibia and Botswana's quest to co-host the 2027 AFCON tournament. Namibia and Botswana's bid to host the Africa Cup of Nations AFCON 2027 is gaining some ground with the team having met with CAF President Dr. Patrice Motsebe to lobby his support. Motsebe is a guest speaker at the Forbes Under 30 Summit in Africa. The Capricorn Eagles are in action as we speak and it is the final match against Zimbabwe. Well, it is going to be a very important encounter there and NTV is currently broadcasting that match live. It is at the CCD field in Vinduk with Namibia pursuing a victory on a home swell. You can also check on our sport rep pages for the latest updates and as well as the final scores well, Sport Rep has you covered on that one again, as well as NTV, which is currently broadcasting that match live. That is on channel 285 on DSTV and 94 on Go TV. The Archery Association of Namibia has a group of seven archers leaving for Tabi Zambi, South Africa, to compete at the Africa Regional Field Archery Competition from 29 April to 2nd of May. The participating teams are Namibia, Zambia, South Africa and Botswana. This is the first international field archery competition since ARFAC 2019 hosted by Zambia, where Namibia archers performed well as in that one. Tukis captain Lincoln Doug Daniels was pleased that his side won the Varsity Cup in South Africa. Ari Ohart had a chat with the captain and this is what he had to say. Jouw gevoel, jij het gewen, hoe voel het om met die jeker om te houden? Yes, ik zie geen woorden. Um, je bent baie dankbaar. Baie dankbaar voor die win, dankie. Het is jou, maar zijn vader is gedraaid tijdens die hele seizoen. Um, ik denk, alles was tegen ons geweest. Um, om van vierde af te komen. En daarbij is die spaan met groot karakter en groot aan. Dus so, baie, baie trots en baie, 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 dat is gebeurd. Dus uh, van... Uh, uh, so is enig maar sê, come from behind, uh, from behind. en uh, baie karakter gewees in die tweede helft. Ja, ja, ek dank ons, um, ons was goed um, um, English mentally prepared. Vir die een is het geweet wat, wat aan gaan tabi en wees, en Maties het het gebrand vanavond, maar um, nooit het ons getwyfeld dat ons, ons die game kan, kan win nie, so weer ons baie, baie blij, ja. en staan as ek in die game kan. Nou, tik is ook vijf bekers. Vijf bekers, daar is, daar is geschiedenis. Well, it was indeed a special occasion there and our international correspondent Ari Ohad was on the ground to give us that. Thank you so much Ari, we hope that you will bring us more of such competitions um, well straight from South Africa. Golden Oldies is up next after the break, stay tuned.
Many have probably forgotten Tommy Show Nakashimba, who used to fight for the Warriors promotions back in the day. Well, guess what? Sport Rep caught up with a former boxer who operates as a carpenter and a boxing coach. He features in our Golden Oggies. Yes, sir. Uh, Master Tommy Show Nakashimba, a former boxer for Namibia. Um, welcome to the show, Tommy. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, Tommy, um, during your days of fighting, um, which fight will you say was your best? Uh, my best fight, uh, only that, the first one, mm. was the best. Mm. Against who did you fight? It's uh, Matthew... Matthew... That guy from Vavis Bay. Oh, he's from Vavis Bay. Yeah, my uh -huh. fight is the uh, Ongwe Diva. Mm -hmm. Yes. I and was, it was a, you won the fight? Yes. Okay. It was a, a first ball, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a fight, the best one, only that one, I fight with uh, Matthew Gandala for a title, national title. Mm -hmm. At uh, Komaza, um, Common mm. Yeah. Okay, Tommy, um, in your professional career, is there a fight that maybe you wish you you won. Mm -hmm. Which fight was that one? A fight, I think you win. Only that one for Nekundi. Konesmus. Konesmus Nekundi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one total I was win. Mm. Uh, the judge he said I'm lose. Oh. I was complaining that fight. Mm. Okay, Tommy, you are a boxing legend. We will call you a legend because you have been in this game for long. What have you been up doing now in terms of boxing? Have you been coaching or what have you been doing? Yeah, like now I, I check and say, oh, this no more fighter. Mm -hmm. the, what can you say? There was no boxing. Yeah, anymore. it was no boxing. It was no. They like a trekom. He was a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, now he's done one. Sponsors. Oh, that time you were for the Warriors promotion. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, until now I'm a coach for Warriors. Mm -hmm. I have a two guys. I have a Jabba. Mm -hmm. I have a Viligo, Viligo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I have a. Yeah, three guys uh, for Nashirongo, Shilongos of Vipa. Uh -huh. Yes, I don't know what that, that means. Uh -huh. Yeah, now I say, ah, I dropped this fight. I dropped this career, now I'm a coach. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not dropped totally, I'm a coach. Okay. Know? Yeah. Do you think there is talent here in Namibia? Yes, I am so yeah, the talent is here. Yeah, Namibia is heavy talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, this coming boxer. Mm -hmm. Like the, this cowboy for, for Njaba, my boxer. Also, uh, these uh, barrels mm -hmm. from Salud. Uh -huh. Also, Janingwa. It's a lot of guys. So there's a lot of guys you think they can be potential champions. Yes. Uh, in terms of your own personal life, without, uh, if not boxing, what else do you do? Yeah, also I'm a carpenter. Uh -huh. yeah. so I, yes, I, because I just, when I walked in there, I saw you busy with some material there. Yes. So is this carpenter, how long have you been doing this? Yeah, I start from that... Yeah, I, I started boxer. Mm. Also, the, I started the carpenter also. Oh. 2001. Mm. Yeah. I go to VTC. Mm. I made two years. Mm. I drop the company. She say, I, I pay you nice. I go to Angola. I go and work the whole year there. Mm. 2005. Mm. I say, oh, this is nice. Nice job. Yeah. I, yeah. So you decide that I'm going to do it now. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, are you a family man, Mary? Yes, I married. Mm. I married 2017. Mm. Yeah, almost five years now. Mm. 
Amen. I have a child. I have four child. Two girl, two boy. Yeah. Life, life is okay after yeah, life boxing. Okay. <laughs> I'm survived. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, is there anything maybe you would still want to do for boxing? Yeah, anything. Only coach. Mm -hmm. I'm coaching the boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so come in box. If you want train, just come to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you call me. I train you. So you are still going to train. I yes. saw you the other day at Genesis Gym there. Are you also trying some fitness yourself? Oh, no, it was that day I was training with a jabba. Uh -huh. Yeah, fitness. OK. Yeah. All right. Well, Tommy, um, I would say that um, you, you, everything is fine. I can see that you are still doing well. Any yes. advice to the youth boxers that want to um, develop into boxing? You know what, the youth, if you come, the first respect. The respect is number one. Yeah, that's why here in Namibia, I was, uh, I was, uh, what can I say? I was, uh, Nessa, she was, uh, she was like me. Oh. Every fighter for Nesta, I may start uh, yeah. Fighter for Nesta. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping they fight for Nesta. Oh. Yeah, from there, yeah, I go to my promoter, um, Smoky Joe, mm. Good Dream Body. Yeah. yeah. All those big guys. Yeah, for oh, big guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, thank you so much, Tommy. Okay, my brother. Uh -huh. Yeah, welcome. Good luck with the future. Good, man. Uh -huh. Same to you. So well, that is Tommy Shaw Nakashimba, um, quite an astonishing career he had there, even though it never really got to flourish. He was still a, fight, a fighter and a hard-hitting fighter. Um, I remember that um, Warriors Promotions always used to rely on him during those days. Well, he is now a carpenter and a family man, as well as a coach, which is quite important for the industry and for the boxing fraternity itself. Spotlight awaits us on the other side of the break. Stay tuned. Our spotlight is on Christine Bomer, who competed in different meet events in the USA. Bomer says she enjoyed her experience. The athlete is expected to travel to Botswana with a group of other Namibians set to compete at an international meet in Khabarone. The Namibia Sports Commission today officially held a send-off ceremony at their offices in Windhoek. Um, the likes of David Dam Nandifas um, Tawana High Tembu, you can name them all, will be among those athletes that will be representing Namibia at the Continental Championship. Well, Christine Bomer was with Brian Munango, and this is what she had to say when she returned from the United States of America. We are here at the NSSU Athletics here in Olympia, uh, the 29th of course. Uh, it's a wonderful event. I'm here with our superstar, our athlete Christine Boma, who just came back on Tuesday from the USA. How was it in the USA? Uh, the USA was great and it was a great experience. I made PB in the 100 meter 10.9 and I was happy. I'm, I'm, uh, I can say I'm still happy with that. Yeah. Uh, as you hear from herself. Well, you see, uh, our athletes, our young ones, they are very busy. They are doing very well. 
they are doing very well indeed. How how do you think? How how do you see how today was? How do you find it? Uh, I say I'm really happy to be here to witness the young athlete running here because I, I also started here and I'm really uh, happy to see the athlete enjoying themselves. Yeah. Okay, um, like you said yourself, since you started here, what is your word of advice to the youth, to our young athletes? I can say uh, I started with NSSU and I didn't give up, like, I didn't give up from here. I started like from 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 here when I, I stopped I mean when I went back home I I started training for more things more competition not only the NSSU because this thing this event only happened once a year I have, I have to have to work hard train for the leagues yeah uh, as you heard it from her focus hard work and dedication will get you far as you see she's broken multiple records and she's she's advising the youth to, to just work hard stay dedicated and you guys will succeed Well, what a privilege it was for Brian Munango to stand alongside that's the 2020 Tokyo Olympics 200 meter silver medalist Christine Bomber. Um, it is a great time to be alive if you are a sports reporter um, having to rub shoulders with individuals of such caliber there. And Brian Munango certainly enjoyed the spotlight. I mean, like it is Christine Bomber after all. Well, they will be competing that in South, in Khabarone, Botswana, and not South Africa. Pardon me there. But in Khabarone, Botswana, that is at the continental meet. Um, a lot of fireworks is expected there. Beatrice Masilingi was injured, but I'm sure the coach has been working on towards her recovery, and we are hoping to see her. Um, that is in action at Khabarone as well, alongside her country girl and compatriot, that's Christine Poma, who has already been hitting um, very, very good times at this international events. Her official time in the 100 meters standing at 11 points. 03 seconds at the moment which is also a national record in a hundred meter although she hit at 10.90 which was aided by the win that was in america which couldn't stand as well at the moment um, that is elaine thompson hera um, is the second fastest this year with a lady that's from the united states standing first with 10.87, which was an incredible time at this moment. Ari Okhart is on standby with international news after the break. Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vindok High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May, where he will be performing with Vaughn Ahrens and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. Well, as I said so, that um, Ari has always been helping and assisting with international news. That's from South Africa. He is currently on standby with the latest international news. Stay tuned. Good day, everyone. Uh, time for international sport. And the uh, first uh, today is golf news. And it is confirmed that uh, the NetBank Golf Classic, that is Africa's major, will take place from the 10th to the 13th of November at the Sun City, at Sun City, at the Gary Player Country Club. That's good news for golf enthusiasts in uh, Southern Africa. Uh, for the past two years, the tournament did not take place because of COVID-19. And uh, the previous winner was in 2019, when the tournament was played, was uh, Tommy Fleetwood of uh, England. And uh, Tommy Fleetwood again confirmed that he will play in the tournament. This tournament is a part of the European Tour, part of the DP World Tour, so there's lots of points on offer for the uh, best players in Europe. So it is expected that lots more of uh, the high-profile, high, high, highly ranked European golfers will indeed confirm to play in this year's NetBank Golf Challenge. It is the 40th, 40th year that it will 
take place. Uh, it started off as the Sun City Million Dollar Tournament, and uh, many golf fans will remember the likes of Tiger Woods and Seve Ballesteros and uh, Bernard Langer uh, playing in the tournament, and Ernie Els, amongst other, winning a few tournaments as well. So that will happen from the 10th to the 13th of November at Sun City. On to some rugby news and uh, SA Rugby is still continuing to uh, go ahead with selling tickets for full stadiums, uh, full attendance stadiums for the incoming tours, uh, the test matches that will be played in the winter months, in uh, June, in July or in July months. That will be the three tests against Wales that will uh, take place in South Africa. And uh, that is, uh, despite the government at the moment having regulations for only 50% capacity in stadiums, and South African rugby still hope that uh, those regulations will be changed in May and June. Otherwise, they have to refund half of those tickets. Confirmed also from New Zealand uh, that New Zealand will play Ireland um, also in July, more or less the same dates as when South Africa play Wales. So Ireland will visit uh, New Zealand in July, so the 2nd of July, the 9th of July, and then also on the 16th of July they will play New Zealand. The All Blacks will play consecutive tests against Ireland. And now we continue on to some tennis news and uh, it is uh, in Munich, it is the BMW tennis tournament on the men's ATP tour that's uh, started and it's also being played on clay, uh, leading up again uh, still to the Roland Garros uh, seasonal Roland Garros major that will be played in Paris on clay later in the year. News from the tournament is that uh, German Alexander Zverev, uh, he will be the number one seed in the tournament and uh, Kasper Ruud of Norway will be seeded number two. They will only play in the round of 32. Uh, one first round result that I can mention in the first time for um, in the meantime is uh, the Emil Rusovario of Finland. He beat uh, Japan's Yoshita Nishioka and uh, the score there was 7-5 and 7-6. More tennis news that's on the ladies tour is that uh, Emma Rudakana, she's from England, uh, from Britain, she's the current US Open champion. Um, she announced that she will split with the current coach and that coach's name is uh, Torben Belts. And uh, Torben Belts was coach for Rudakana for five months and uh, the successor will be Rudakana's uh, fourth coach in one year. So she's changing quite a few coaches after winning um, or just before and during uh, after winning the US Open tennis tournament. That is Emma Rodekana of England. And to conclude today's international sports, some golf news. Uh, it is the British Open uh, that's going to take place uh, from the 14th to the 17th of July at St Andrews. Uh, that is in Scotland, in Edinburgh. And it is significant because it's the 150th US Open or British Open that will take place. Uh, tickets uh, was uh, high in demand and apparently according to the organizers 1.3 million applications were received for tickets but only 52,000 people can visit can, can be at the course per day also about 80,000 people are expected to be at the practice round so in total about 290,000 people would have uh, attended the tournament that will make it a new record of attendance uh, also, Tiger Woods is confirmed at the moment, bes be, uh, despite his uh, injured leg, and he did play in the recent uh, tournament at the Masters in the USA, and it is confirmed that Tiger Woods will play in the 150th uh, U uh, British Open tournament at St Andrews, and uh, he also won two of his uh, three uh, British Open titles he did win at St Andrews, so it, it will be good for the organisers, good for the spectators, to have Tiger Woods at the tournament again this year. So that's the international news for today. Hope you have a great uh, sporting day. We talk again tomorrow. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Ari, for that update. Um, that is all we had for you from the Sport Rep crew. Please catch us again live tomorrow at the same time, same place. Don't forget that the cricket national team, that's the women team, is currently in action. That's on NTV channel 285 DSTV and 94 Go TV. Go there and watch for yourself how the Eagles are performing against that Zimbabwe. And again, please do not forget to Watch our Sport Rep Facebook pages and as well as Namibian Sun, Republican, Algamina, Saitung, My Zone, and all the Namibian Media Holdings pages for the latest sports news. Um, that is all from me, Jesse Jackson, Carl Reifer. Goodbye. <laughs>